so to do the ICT, it's very simple. You have to have your tools and then uh, you have the fridge. So when you receive the fridge, you'll see that this, uh, the fridge is sealed, is wrapped with uh, the styrene corners. So the first thing you do, you have to check for any visible damage. Any visible damage that you see on the fridge before you open, you have to take note of it and then you have to take a photo. And then uh, after you've done that, you can use your tool, you can get a knife for you to be able to remove the styrene. So it's just to cut the, the plastic wrap and then you just have to remove the, the styrene. And then when you remove the styrene, you have to position your fridge. using this one uh, as an example which is already on red. Uh, what you do is you, you position your fridge, you have to make sure there's enough gap uh, between the back of the fridge and the, if there's a wall, you have to be enough gap in between, at least 30 centimeter or so between 220 and 20 and 30 centimeter ceiling because you need to have a gap. So what you do is you have to open your fridge and then when you open your fridge you have to make sure that uh, you have a uh, your shelves, you have your voltage protector, you have your instruction manual and warranty certificate, and then you have your J clips as well. And then the other thing you do, the other thing you have to do, you have to check your serial number and make sure you have all your serial number correct. And the warranty certificate, uh, serial number have to be the same. And then if there's anything that is short, you have to, to take a photo and report it on the job card. So this is the B series. There's two parts. There's the fridge and there's the freezer compartment. The next thing you do is uh, you check for any visual damage. It might be a scratch, it might be a dent. You have to take a photo and then you have to report it on your ICT job card. The next thing you do is you open the voltage guard and then you have to plug. The thing with the voltage guard is you, have to, you must not use an extension lead it has to go straight onto the power supply and then in this case I have power supply which I have to plug it. Remember no extension leads, no extension cord, you have to plug it straight onto the power and then I have to monitor it so it's gonna take at least less than three minutes for it to check the quality of the power supply and as soon as it's green you can be able to plug the fridge. And the next thing you do, you use your tools and then you can use a side cutter and then you go at the back of the fridge where you have to use the, the power supply cable and then uh, and then you have to, to, to take your station port and then you form a power supply cord and you have to remove all the cable ties the next thing you do, you monitor your, your voltage guard as soon as you see there's a, it, there's a green light it's safely for you to uh, to plug your fridge and then as soon as you plug your fridge you will be able to see that uh, the freezer control both controllers are on both freeze and freezer controller freezer and fridge controller are on and the next thing you do you have to take knife again and then you have to remove everything inside so what you do is you can put the warranty certificate there and then uh, you get the jacket and the shelves and then you have to make use of the knife to remove the shelves. Okay, and as soon as your shelving is ready, you can look for a safe place to put them. And the next thing you do is to fit your jacket. And then before you do so, before you proceed, you have to make sure that the fridge is working fine. And then you see, when the door is open, the LED lights have to be on. And then there's an internal fan which you need to check. How you check your internal fan, you just have to press this button here. As soon as you press the button, you, uh, the door switch button, you will see that the internal fan is turning. And then when you stop, you see the lights go back on and the, the fan is off. And then the next thing is to fit the jet clips. Since we are having four shelves, so we have 16 jet clips. 
So the first jacket we put, we have to put it right from the bottom sort, right above the bottom sort here. And then uh, the first one. And the next one is on the first slot here. And then since you're gonna have a four shop, you have to split them evenly. So I will start counting one, two, three, four, and then I'll put it in front of J clip. Oh. Afterward, you can be able to bring your shawl. Okay, so just have to and as soon as you put all the shelving, you have to make sure that everything looks straight and aligned. And then when you're happy with that, you can check. You have to check to open the freezer door. You have to make sure that the fridge door is not loose. And the other thing you have to check, you have to check for the ceiling of the divider. You have to make sure that there's enough silicone all around. You have to make sure that everything seals properly. And then any damage, if the light is off, the phone not turning, you have to make sure you take photos, you take notes in the drop card, and then you have to report that. And then the next thing you do is you close the door, and then uh, you have to do use the uh, the of touch to close the door and then you have to check the ceiling the quality uh, of the ceiling of the door for you to be able to do that you need to use a piece of paper so what you do is like when the door seals you have to use a piece of paper and try and stick it inside you yeah. or what you can also do open the door stick a piece of paper and close so if you're struggling to slide down the piece of paper showing that uh, the quality of the ceiling is fine but if it slides easily it means that uh, your door ceiling is not correct and then you can check all around the, the fridge the next thing you do is to check the setting so we have the freezer controller and you have the fridge controller as well so it's a TC900, a full gauge controller, and the freezer is a full gauge 514E controller. The set point of the fridge controller for the vaccine uh, fridge B-series is, is 4 degrees. For you to be able to check that, you just have to, there's a, a set button on the bottom left. You just have to press and hold until you see SP appearing, you release, and then it shows 4. That means the set point of the fridge is correct, which is 4 degrees. And then you just have to press uh, the set button again. And then when you see the full line appearing, it goes back to it goes back to the uh, to the fridge display temperature. So at the moment, the temperature is 17.2. Uh, a B series takes at least five to six hours to reach set point, and then afterward, it's gonna work within range between two and eight degrees. The next one is the freezer controller which goes very fast because there's no any tank uh, inside the freezer. So to check the set point is the same thing. Press and hold the set button until you see SP appearing, you release, and then you check, make sure that this is minus 10. And then you press set again, and then it goes back to the freezer uh, temperature. So if you find out this is not minus 10, and this is not also 4 degrees, it means the settings are not correct and then uh, you have to report this to the office. The other, other thing is uh, the instruction uh, on the bolt out. You have to make sure that the voltage protector show a, a green light before you use the fridge. And then uh, this is a new controller uh, that we have this uh, on this fridge here. It, says, uh, it has a warning alarm to clean the condenser. So when you see AC1, you have to explain to, to the people when doing the training that when you see AC1 appearing on the fridge controller, they have to remove the, they have to open the service door and clean the condenser. So the instruction, the instruction on how to clean the condenser, everything is on the on the manual. 
So they just have to fill this and clean the condenser uh, monthly and they have to make sure that they fill and keep the records and then uh, that's it. And then after all, you just have to sit for a while and make sure that both temperature are going down. The freezer controller uh, display temperature goes down quickly compared to the fridge one, but uh, after four or five to six hours, it will gonna reach safe point as well. And the other thing is make sure that uh, the ICT job card is signed with the stamp from the nurse or pharmacist in charge.